This is Rabbi Haim Schaffner coming to you from Bethlehem. Usually as American Jews, when we mention Palestine or sometimes even when we see Arabic writing, we tend to just imagine that they, uh, they all hate us, want to push us into the sea. I know two days ago that's certainly what I imagined. I didn't really expect that I would learn anything from the trip that would impact my perspective. I remember <laughs> commenting to a friend of mine at the time that, you know, I don't know why I'm going, and I know I'm going to be angry. <laughs> I'm going anyways because I'm so curious. Three years later, I'm not done with it yet. My father was um, an ardent first generation post Holocaust Zionist. And I kept thinking during the two-day period that he was rolling over in his grave. Everyone said I had to go on an encounter trip. I, for the very first time, saw the wall rather than from the Gilo side and represented as a security wall. I saw it from the other side, from Bethlehem. One of the exercises was for the Jews, if you have ever met a Palestinian, step into the circle and less than 5% stepped into the circle. We've been talking in the abstract for decades about this conflict. What I've discovered is that when you meet real people, uh, the real people are different than what our image is. Uh, before I started rabbinical school, I served for a year and a half about in the Israeli army in a combat infantry unit. One of the places that encounter goes to is called the Hope Flower School. I knew that there was a school there, but I've only seen these people, seen the school as a potential threat, as, as I needed to. And so I was able, for the first time, to see the people inside the school, talk to them, actually encounter them uh, as people. So they're playing this game where you step into the circle when you, when you have something in common. And at some point the question was, who, who has lost a friend or a family member, and two good friends of mine were killed in the Hebrew University bombing. And so I stepped into the circle as victim, right, only to look at this 12-year-old boy who was also looking at me as victim. When we met each other in the circle, we saw that loss and that anger in the eyes of the other. Uh, and that was a very profound moment. In a sense, our participants have been the unappointed ambassadors of the Jewish people. Uh, to the West Bank in the last four years. My daughters do not have the chance to meet with children. And all they have learned in their life is what they saw on TV and about the killing and the shooting. So the Israelis are to them those who are wearing the uh, uniform and having the big gun shooting. We have uh, encounter participants live and stay with Palestinian homes. The impact has been great in the Palestinian society. I got involved with Encounter when planning a legislative delegation to Israel, and I think it's critical that American Jews who care deeply about Israel and who want to see a peace in the region need to go on this kind of trip. I know there is a solution. Maybe you are the solution, I don't know. The, the only words I could think of is thank you. Uh, we feel so isolated so often and your presence here has always been very powerful. And my last message is, come again.